recognizing a different kind of mountain hero. Good evening, I'm Haley Minogue. When you think of Memorial Day, usually veterans or servicemen and women come to mind. But the Hemphill community celebrated a different symbol of strength in the region, miners who died while on the job. I joined the group to find out why honoring the memories of these miners is so important to the community. I was raised like Florida Land, a coal miner and stuff. But it was good days. He was good to us. Maybelle Johnson, like so many others present at the coal miners memorial, was raised in a coal community. Her daughter Gwen Johnson remembers so many of the days her brother and father would come home from work. Well, just coming in cold black, you know, and uh, with that black coat of on them and uh, running to get the dinner bucket to see if there's anything left. Then, in 1990, tragedy struck the Johnson family. It got kind of late and then the call came that, they, that there'd been an accident and we didn't know how bad it was. And we sat in the guard shack down at Carbon Glow at one of Golden Oak Mines all night, not knowing if he was alive or dead. And then when they finally brought him out, they told us that he had passed. But Rex Johnson was not the first family member to die in the mines. We've got four um, mine fatalities on these stones out here at the Coal Miners Monument. The project coordinator of the memorial event believes holding on to the memories, good and bad, is more important now than ever before. This used to be a big coal mining town, Hemphill, but uh, the mines worked out and uh, all they left us is memories. So we're expanding on them memories. Remembering the past, never forgetting the hardworking men of Hemp Hill. For information on how to reach out to the Letcher County Coal Miners Memorial Organization, you can visit our website, WYMT.com.